You guys suck. You guys suck real good, eh? I'm a terrible human being. <laughs> Whoop. You're dead. Pleading try. Now I can run slightly faster. Oh goody. Right, this will kind of double us back over this way. What are we supposed to be doing? I don't even remember what the fuck we're supposed to be doing. What is the point of all this? Find the soul crucible in Gideon's row. Okay. That's what we're supposed to be doing. No, I will not do that. Oh shit. It's the shade of Malthael. He's come to put it in our butts. But he died, so you know. There will be no more butt pudding. Head up this way. Oh. Just seeing these things walking the streets of West March fills me with rage. Yeah, you guys can't handle my sick turret game, yo. Yeah. Satisfying. <laughs> That's a good word to describe all this. It's satisfying. It's a satisfying game. Exceptional strength sword. It's exceptional, you guys. I know because it told me so. Oh, there's an actual gate. Wow, I still got hit by that. Yeah, you ain't got shit. I need more hatred to do that. I don't think you're gonna be able to handle this, Death Maiden. and easy here. Oh, hey, another cute little area to go through. Plague Tunnels Level 1. Oh, this is a legit dungeon. Sweet. Legit dungeon time. There's actually some really cool um, dungeon set pieces they put in this game, including, like, battle arenas and shit. Like, legitimate battle arenas. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah, you can't handle it. So this area will probably be good for getting us another uh, another level, getting us up to 58, which is important. Gotta keep remembering to drop them turrets. I feel like I'm kind of regressing at this point because I'm going between like playing this character where I actually have to play the game and a, a semi-broken character that has all these like super god tier weapons that I use for running grips on normal. Um, so I feel, I feel like I fall into one, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I fall into like one style of play over another and I need to make sure that I, I don't use my relaxed style of play because that's how I will die. If I just relax and let shit happen to this character, that's gonna end badly. Oh god! Got set on fire! Plague rats. You can tell they're plague because they're green. You can tell they're green because the color. Yeah, get him. Ooh, cursed chest. This will be worth some experience here. Although, oh wow, those guys are coming out of the fucking woodwork. Oh shit, a mouse! Yeah, 
Yay! Oh, well, I'm glad we took care of that before we triggered the cursed chest here. Alright, although well, now we can't trigger that. Oh, or maybe I did trigger it and I just didn't even realize. Fuck. Didn't get anything for that. I wonder what the hell happened there. That almost feels like it was a glitch. Oh well. Glitches get stitches. <laughs> oh, he doesn't seem like a very intimidating boss. I mean, he's definitely got the health. Man, fucking knockback bastards. Not enough hatred. Yeah, the bo oh no, he's still alive, shit. Although I feel like at this case, in this case, his minions are more of a problem than he is. Just because he's so fucking slow, because he's, you know, a torso. Yo, step up your torso game, bro. Man, there's another one? Shit, man. The news is I can turn up the damage super hard when I choose to. So that werewolf just threw rats. Like he just went raw and crapped out some rats. And he's like, no, I feel better because I'm not crapping out these rats. They aren't in my butt anymore. Get it? Yeah. I feel like a part of games making you this all-powerful fucking dude is that it kind of makes you jaded towards other games. Like, it kind of makes you appreciate, like, magnificent, like, oh shit moments a lot less. Because when you're so, when you're almost impervious to death, and there's no real consequence for death, and you don't really have to try, there's no real difficulty curve, it kind of makes you appreciate games less. And it makes you appreciate, like, badass fucking crazy moments less. Which is one of the things I really, really like about, uh... The Dark Souls franchise. When you beat a boss, there's, like, this moment of, like, good feeling that you get from actually doing it. That is almost unmatched in games at this point. Like, this game's awesome, don't get me wrong, but I don't get the sense of accomplishment for beating greater rifts or anything anymore. It's just like, oh shit, what am I going to run my god tier character through next? I guess that's one of the reasons I like doing the uh, hardcore mode here is just because it's like, okay, well, it means something that I've gotten a character this high because some people can't do that, even on this difficulty. Which granted is, you know, it's technically a hard difficulty or a hard mode, but it's not nearly as hard as some of the other stuff I've done. So I feel like the moments of hell yeah we're going to have from playing Dark Souls 2, especially since it'll be a virgin run through again, just like this, because I've never played it before. I've seen playthroughs and stuff, but, you know, I don't have any first-hand knowledge of the game. I don't have any first-hand experience in the game except what I've gotten from playing the other games in the series, like Dark Souls, the first one. So it's going to be, there are going to be these mo awesome moments of fuck yes, I did it all the time. Even just going from level to level and dealing with some of the more bullshit areas of the game. And yes, I do know where the bullshit areas of the game are, just based on like some of the stuff I've seen. But I don't remember the progression, I don't remember like Critical Path, anything like that. So it'll be exciting to play. Alright, let's head over this way. Where are we all going? We're just kind of slowly clearing our way through sections of this uh, dungeon here. It's fun.
I just love the idea that there are still games that give you the sense of, oh wow, I can't believe I did that. And I feel like with this, games, I've, with this game, I've had some small moments like that. That's more based around the fact that I currently have a level 57 hardcore character and I didn't expect that shit to go down. You know, we did pick up a higher level crossbow here. It took down my health regen by quite a bit, so I might not equip it, but... Let's take a look here. It's this one. 542 versus 590. 18.8, 20.7. Now we're going to stick with uh, this one, I think it was. Yeah, there we go. That's the one I had equipped. Just for now. Just until we can get a slightly higher level one. See, so this is actually an interesting experiment in how you get experience in this game. Because for the entire playthrough I've done with this character, I've more or less stuck to Critical Path. I've done some extra stuff, like I did all the extra stuff in the first act. But in terms of like the second act, I didn't really do anything off the beaten path. And same with the third and fourth act. I mean, I did, like, what, one dungeon off the beaten path, and that was it. And... Fuck me, man. Quit dropping these damn walls. It is the most annoying My shit fucking ever. There we go. And now I feel like my character is under-leveled from where I am in the game. Which is very interesting. Just to see the difference between doing, you know, an extra five hours of dungeons and not. There we go. Gotta get more of these big guys we get to kill. Or like big mobs of people. We need to kill lots of big nabs. Because when we kill the big nabs, that's when we get all the good stuff. Nephilim stuff specifically, because that's important. Getting all the extra buffs from the Nephilim thing is like stupid important. <laughs> Especially in the later game stuff, because when it actually gives you it gives you double damage. And that's like the most important buff it gives you. But, like, holy shit. Oh, wow, look at all these guys. I'm down for this fight. Yeah. Take it, you stupid rat people. I look down on you and your underground society. Yeah, buddy. My bag is too heavy. My bag is too heavy. Oh no. Actually, that's a bit all right. Cuz I was actually looking for an excuse to take a quick break here. Oh man. So let's take this last guy out and teleport back to town here. Once we jump into town, I'm going to take a quick five-minute break. Hey, don't go nowhere, gents and ladies, everybody. Don't go nowhere. Five minutes.